Okay, just order my food. Alright, might as well do a review while I'm waiting. Hey guys, so today... That was quick. Mmm, my Kung Fu takeout is here. Here's a toy line that I've been looking forward to checking out. Thanks to Dan Classic, we can look at Kung, Kung Fu Takeout. takeout. These figures are made the Lennard way, recycled a million times over. The first time we saw these sculpts were for a line called Dragon Doe. The characters include Eclipse, Crane, Kenji, and Dynamite. Then we got Kung Fu Takeout. We'll talk more about that line in a bit. And the most recent line is the core super soldier. The characters include Roughneck, Kenji, Slash, Crane, Dynamite, and Oculus. It's time for the Kung Fu Takeout Menu Roll Call. Chop Sweet! Pad Tiger Fist of Kure and Mushu Master Let's check out their story Dumpling City was always a safe city and never starved Thanks to the three vigilant Kung Fu rival bosses they were known as the Kung Foodies Serving delicious food during the day and serving justice at night. These Kung Fu Masters possess legendary culinary Kung Fu powers. The first one was Curry, the legendary master of spices who used them to prepare large quantities of noodles with his fists and his roller of the night to roll over his enemies. Chop Suey was the master of slicing circles, cubes, and always traveled with his legendary katana, which helped him cut through anything from vegetables to traffic signals. Everything was peaceful in Dumpling City under the watchful eye of the Kung Foodies until the evil teriyaki trio arrived in the city. Liberated by Master Mushu, they began to cook their twisted plans to take control of the city and brainwash its inhabitants through their evil chain of fast food. With no one to stop him, Dumpling City could stay under the control of the teriyaki trio. The Kung Foodies would not tolerate this and decided to expose Mushu and his evil chain once and for all. They mentioned three characters but there's four figures. Are you telling me that Pad Tiger is an army builder? Is he a Kung Fudi or part of the Teriyaki Trio? Wait, did I get that in reverse? Are Fist of Curry, Chop Suey, and Master Mushu the Teriyaki Trio? Then Pad Tiger is the hero? Man, this thing is all over the place. It reminds me of a toy line I reviewed back in spring 2020, The Crops. It's too strange to be real, but here it is. These figures are exactly the same as Dragon Doe, but without the cool training equipment. They come with two accessories except for Fist of Curry. 
chop suey, comes with a sai, and legendary katana. Pad Tiger comes with a tomfa and a pair of nunchucks. Fist of Curry comes with his Roller of the Night three-piece nunchuck. And Mushu Master comes with a sword and sheath. Looking ahead at the core super soldiers, the new sculpts match up pretty well with these guys. It makes me wonder if they were sculpted at the same time but released later, but I highly doubt that. Fist of Curry shares his torso with Pad Tiger, and he shares his legs with Chop Suey. Chop Suey shares his legs with Fist of Curry and his torso with Mushu Master. Mushu Master shares his torso with Chop Suey and his legs with Pad Tiger. And Pad Tiger shares his legs with Mushu Master and his torso with Fist of Curry. The articulation for each Kung Fu takeout figure is all the same. Head, 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 shoulders, shoulders, shoulders elbows, elbow, 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 waist, waist, waist legs, 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 and knees, legs, and knees, and knees. The joints seem a little loosey goosey and sometimes hard to get the pose to stay. Speaking of loosey goosey, the weapons are pretty loose in their hands, with the exception of the Night Roller three piece nunchuck. Oh, and the sheath won't stay on for long on Mushu's back. There's a small part on the legendary katana that can fit on Chopsui's back. It holds a little bit better than Mushu's sheath. Overall, the Lennard Kung Fu Takeout toys are okay at best. There's been reports of the Super Soldier figures breaking at the legs. The weapons are made from soft plastic resulting in bent blades. The sculpts remind me of graffiti caricatures with baggy pants and the overly stylized faces. Not gonna lie, although a cool idea, it does feel a little bit racist. I showed these to people who aren't into toys and the first thing they said was how racist they were. I guess this is just how the Narn has done things since the beginning with memorable core figures such as Bengala, Dragon Han, and of course Lightning Mobutu. These guys are also a scalper's dream. Once again taking advantage of the budget line and making the prices skyrocket. I can see why these figures were found at Ollie's. I don't think Walmart would have wanted a crowd backlash from these figures. Bazooka Obsessed